Hi, welcome to my channel. These are going to be uh, general messages for the sign of Scorpio for the end of 2021, the beginning of 2022. I'm going to do what we need to surrender for this year and leave. Leave the past in the past as we start a new year in. So I'm going to pull a few cards here to see what we need to surrender to Scorpios. And then I'm going to pull some lessons cards to see what lessons we've learned or lessons that we still need to learn. And then I'm going to pull you a few uh, advice cards or what we need to work on into 2022. So let's get started. Keep in mind these are general messages and they're not going to relate to every Scorpio out there, okay? You may not be going through this. You may not have to surrender. You may have already done inner work, okay? So let's get a couple cards here and see what we need to surrender to. They're already popping out for you, Scorpios. Let's fly here. I just got this deck today, so bear with me. The cards are sticking together. All right, we have Surrender to the Beauty of the Natural World, Scorpio. All right, take a relaxing break and spend time in nature. Replenish yourself by feeling the beauty and ecstasy out, out there, right? Getting out into nature as much as you can, depending on where you live right now, Scorpio, um, to ground yourself, okay? So if you haven't been trying to ground yourself, that's what they're asking you to do is to be into nature. Surrender to the beauty. There is beauty all around us here. We have uh, surrender to creativity. Let your imagination soar. Stay open to all creative ideas about how you pursue a dream or solve a problem. So your creativity, allow more creativity in, getting out into the natural world here, experience, experiencing, if I can speak, the beauty of the world will help inspire your creativity more. This girl here, she's kind of looking through. She's holding this mirror up. The reflection, allowing the sunlight in. Okay, because things grow in the light. We can't grow anything in the dark, right? So surrendering to creativity and the beauty of the natural world. And we have surrender to full, your full power, Scorpio. Your life is calling for you to step into your full power rather than playing it small. Be courageous. Be who you are. Show the world who you are. If you haven't done that, step into your full power. Take back control of your life. A lot of, you got orange colors coming out here. So a lot of creativity, a lot of em emotional pleasure, um, a lot of intimacy probably, you know, fire and passionate. Do things that are more passionate here for you. Focus on what you want to do with your life, okay? All right. Now, let's see what lessons that we've learned or that we need to learn. All right. Scorpio. Okay, uh, Scorpio, so your lesson that needs to be learned is judgment. That's placing judgment on yourself, placing judgment on others, knowing that um, you understand that everyone has their own unique path and challenges. And not everyone has the same path to go down, okay? We have denial coming out for you. So, yeah, there's judgment. So, releasing judgment of yourself, releasing judgment of others, okay? Because we only have one judge and, you know, that's our higher power, whoever God or whoever we believe, whoever our belief system's in, whoever we pray to or meditate to, okay? Um, we have denial. I acknowledge my fear, but replace it with the insight of awareness. So, um, resisting that, you know, uh, acknowledging those not living in denial, being able to face reality here, okay? 
being creative with it, going within. If you have not been doing that, maybe you're judging yourself. You're in denial because you've been judging yourself for past failures. And that's what it's saying here. You know, release that denial here. Failure coming out also. So you put a lot of strain on yourself. It's saying stand in your full power, Scorpio. I understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn. You know, um, it's facing that. It's understanding. Yes, this happened. I failed, but I can get back up on my own two feet again. And I, I can always try again. Get out into nature to help uh, ground yourself a little bit more, to help open your creativity, to be able to stand in your own power. Release these judgments and denial. Be able to face that. Stop denying it, okay? And we have failure, even though, like I said, a failure is another reason to learn. It's another reason to grow from it, not keep repeating the same cycle or placing judgment due to a failure just because you failed. Release that. All right. What about 2022? What advice do you have for 2022 for Scorpios? Whoa. That was quite a few. Like I said, I just got these two decks here today, and they're very sticky, so <laughs> bear with me. Yeah, be inspired here for your passions. Go towards what you want to do in your life. Stand in your power. This is a, a very powerful uh, message for you, Scorpios. Well, if they want to come out, they might. <laughs> All right, we have solitude. It's time to go within. Working on your inner work, Scorpios. Inner traumas. Placing judgment on yourself. Where is that coming from? Where's the denial coming from? Where's the failure coming from? Number nines could be significant to someone. If you've been seeing 999, this may be for you. It's rebuilding, learning more about yourself. Oh my gosh, they're sticking so bad here. <laughs> um, you also could be learning, um, reading books or going back to school, uh, just staying in hermit mode, studying a little more. If not, maybe that's what you're going to be doing next year. All right, you got four cards that pop out. We had the solitude here. So one of us reading to you, so maybe you've been learning something new or you've been reading books, okay, trying to um, figure out maybe about yourself a little bit more here. Or it's a time for solitude in order to be able to work on releasing this, okay? And we have one, so number one could be significant for you. This is just about working on yourself. Prosperity begins, a new beginning, a new cycle, a new year, a new start, okay? Starting from the ground up and branching off, okay? You can do this. There's also two people here. Well, two hands, I mean, you could be working with a partner, doesn't have to be. This could be in a business if you're trying to go towards a business and you're doubting yourself. Know that prosperity is coming in. The fruits of your labor will prosper here. We have disconnect and bore, or discontent and boredom. So maybe you're feeling a little bored right now and it could be due to this solitude by being by yourself, okay, trying to figure yourself out a little bit more, understand yourself, maybe working on releasing some of these. Number fours could be significant. If you've been seeing four, 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 then this may be for you, and this is just you understanding yourself, trying to realize where uh, all these are coming from, maybe having difficulty releasing. Love, feelings, emotions. This is your heart chakra. 
opening your heart or figuring out how to open the door to your heart. If you're closed off right now. All right, and number one, another one here. So if you've been seeing one, one or one, 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 this may be significant for you too, Scorpios here. Triumphant, uh, triumphant success, you know, and that's standing in your truth. This is truth and the clarity. This is knowing who you are. This is the sword of truth. Also coming up from the ground. Being in this solitude here. Learning who you are. Planting. Okay? Discovering and planting. Going within and loving yourself more. And standing in your truth, which is the same here as standing in your full, surrendering to your full power, Scorpios. Hmm. It's about communication. It's about expressing. It's about being free. Loving yourself more. Like I said, from the ground up. Uprooted. I'm hearing uprooted. I don't know what that means for some of them, but okay. Um, yeah, so these are the messages I have for you for uh, the end of 2021, what we need to surrender and what we need to work on for 2022. So hopefully they resonated for you and gave you a little bit of insight to help you move forward. Let me know in the comments, like, comment, subscribe, share, whatever. I appreciate it all. Thank you for all your support. And I hope you have a wonderful day. A lot of love, light, and blessings.